Today, we're diving into a question every trader wants to know. How often does the RSI, that trusty relative strength index, stay oversold for more than five days? You know, those moments when the market looks like it's in panic mode and you're wondering, is this a buying opportunity or a total trap? We crunch the numbers using SPY, the ETF that tracks the S&P 500, all the way back to its inception until today. And the results? They might surprise you. Stick around to find out. We also show you the results of an RSI trading strategy. And if you love trading insights like this, hit that like button and subscribe for more. So let's break this down. First, what do we mean by oversold? For this analysis, we're using the five-day RSI, short and perfect, for spotting quick shifts. When that RSI drops below 35, we're in oversold territory. But here's the kicker. We wanted to know how often it stays there for more than five days. We went back to 1993 when SPY launched and ran the numbers up to today. That's over 30 years of data. And here's what we found. Since its inception, the RSI on SPY has stayed oversold, below 35, for more than five days exactly 50 times. Yup, 50. That's it. Out of thousands of trading days, it's happened just 50 times. Now let's put that in perspective. SPY has been around for about 8,000 trading days. That means this rare oversold streak happens less than 1% of the time. 0.625% to be exact. You might be thinking, cool stats, but how does such a trading strategy perform? Did the market bounce back or keep tanking? Let's make the following trading rules. We buy when the five-day RSI crosses below 35, and we sell when the RSI crosses above 35. The results are not the most inspiring, but it shows at least a steady growth. There were 336 trades, and the average gain was 0.35%, including commissions and slippage. If you enjoyed this deep dive, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss the next one. Check out the article link below for more details, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy trading, everyone.